Hello guys, today we got Silver Play Review and Nino. He is uh plays in the K League, eighty six pace, seventy five shot, seventy passing, seventy four dribbling. That's all you really need to know. Uh picked him up for two point three K. I scored seventy three goals in thirty five games with him, uh which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh right now all we we're just showing the team around him. If there was an assist counter for the amount of assists the, the players around him get, just because Nino is a boss and he makes the best runs, uh, all the attackers, the Barreto and Stevanovic, would both have at least 20 assists. Uh, both of them, both of them, just is just in the attack is basically like Nino making that beautiful run, and you know I just pass it across. Right now I'm showing you the midfielders. The midfielders are uh, Marquinhos, uh, Parquinhos, Leo Gago, and Pinto. Uh, and they they are just they, they're amazing. Uh, they 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 have really good passing and a uh, really good vision that it just it helps you pass out to the to the right forwards and left forwards. Um, and right now we're going to the in-game stats for uh, Enino. Enino has I believe eighty eight uh eighty long shots, eighty five free kick accuracy, eighty eight penalties, and eighty three sh shot power. Um, guys, I'm telling you. 83 shot power is complete bullshit. Uh, if there was a silver player that had the same, just let me show you in the goals. He has probably at least 90 to 95 shot power in game. It is just like that's how it, what it feels like, and it's just amazing. And his long shots are beautiful, and he has the best. He's really really pacey. His dribbling is is good, not the best, but uh, it is. It's not my Kenliete good dribbling, but. He is really good at dribbling as well. His long shots are are what amaze me. I, I his long shots are are thing of beauty. I'm, I'm telling you, uh, it's you just his finesse. Everything is just is just on point. Everything you need in a left winger or sorry, left mid, left wingers. <laughs> and uh, he he's on the left wing and he has the right footed shot, so you can cut in all the time. Uh, his heading. His heading's okay. I want to say it's the best. That was a ridiculous header. I don't even know how he got that. But uh, it is, there there was a few times where it was just a horrible header, and I couldn't couldn't really score with him that much. I I think I only got like two headers off two headers that I scored with him. Um, his finishing is ridiculous. His long shot and his work rates. The work rates are what I really want to talk about. His work rates are ridiculously good for our left winger. It's a uh, High attack, low defense, and man, is it is it that that just helps out with his game completely because he stays higher up than this striker does. And when you have Bredo as the uh, as the striker, and Bredo is basically like a center forward for me, uh, he he links up Anino perfectly, and he gives those amazing passes. Really helps find Anino, and when you have Anino, Anino is ha there's no way that he's not gonna finish anything from 30 yards. Uh, just get just get three bars of power, and the goalkeeper's not stopping it. It's it's just gonna fly into the net. It's it's basically a goal every time he has the ball in the the 30 yard box, unless you get blocked or something. Uh, he's extremely cheap because he plays in the K League. This makes it hard for him to link up with players. But there is a player uh, called Leonardo. I picked. I believe I picked him up for 300 bucks. Uh, he has like he's a cam. That's the only bad thing. So if you're playing a form a uh, for formation with three midfielders, it is kind of bad. But he does he is Brazilian as well, so he has uh, that triple connection almost. And um, this this is the end of the review. But I'm telling you guys, Aninho is you have to get him. He is amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe.